hi guys so i saw a video um yesterday actually uh there's this nigerian youtuber she is very she's a polygon she speaks eight, eight languages yeah and uh, the one um she's more focused on is korean she really loves she really speaks korean by the way very well very well very a young lady very beautiful i love it i love her content so she was speaking and and, and uh, under that video there's some people who are mocking her literally mocking her like telling her at, uh, that why is she learning a korean language why learn a foreign language what for is, is it beneficial and they were making some fun of her because she also likes watching k-drama and by the way i love watching k-drama i'm one of the people who love k-drama I, I i i i started watching k-drama just the other day and uh, yeah it's a good it's a good genre i love it uh it's it's different from hollywood what i'm used to hollywood i like it it has literally made me want to know more about korean culture um yeah so the more i study it the more i learn about their culture it's it's good because in school thank god our 844 system it made us you know i'm in kenya i'm in nairobi but we were taught about everything about the world as much as people think uh, kenya we don't know much about but we do our system our s system our school system teaches everything about the world you may be surprised i may know more about your country even if i haven't stepped in your country because it, it had that emphasis of you know we know our country we know about our country but also need to know about the world and they put that in you and you learn about the politics the culture and all this stuff all right but back to the point so yes, I know about Korea. I, I knew about uh, uh, Southeast Asian. I've learned all that, and, and also because I did international relations, so I was more focused on the international world, which is good. So when I look at that, what people are commenting on that video for that young lady, and then here she is. She was at a conference. Uh, it was a, a it, it was a business conference. So uh, a Korean business had gone to Nigerian. And it was a conference and that she had been invited with some of her colleagues to do interpre interpretation yeah so now she, it was the video where she's coming out and she's telling me you know what you guys are making fun of me but let me tell you the reason why i, I started learning the foreign language so she said first of all the reason why she started learning uh, the korean language is simple she wanted to learn so that she's able to watch the k-drama and understand instead of you know busy reading the subtitles because honestly you know when you listen to the ear when you listen uh, and you understand something very easily as compared to just waiting for every word and you're reading there's a difference so she wanted to learn so that she's able to understand what is happening in the movie without really reading the captions she said it like a joke but right now she's taking it like a business why because right now she's being invited to these conferences to do interpretation and she's earning she's being paid in dollars and she's being paid in, in in per hour and she's making good money and right now she's literally going to an extent of teaching people you know teaching people korean so it's her business and she speaks other eight, eight languages so she's a polygon so she's literally telling people you know what don't be close-minded open your mind open yourself to this whole new world so right now she has friends who are korean she interacts with them she can move around and she has opened a new world for herself besides just being in nigeria she's in nigeria but she's literally interacting with people in korea comfort of the at the comfort of her home thanks to this digital world but she has made friends and she's been talking to these friends for years so imagine now when she decided to go to korea just maybe maybe to do her her, co her university or something like that she'll be easily at home why because she's already created a relationship she's literally opened her mind she's literally opened her world she's literally opened her her, her cultures because when when she shows you video on her on her tiktok channel where she the way she interacts and the way the koreans are teaching her about about korea and then how she's teaching koreans about nigeria so you see there's that exchange of culture there's that understanding and you literally open your mind your world to each other and you learn and you grow and you become better because let's call us faith with this world of ours we're living in right now we are living in a global village it's a multicultural global village the world has become a village interacting right now is very easy why because of technology 
I can communicate with you five within second just because I'm opening a WhatsApp, but just because I'm on Facebook, I can I know the news what's happening on your side of the country because everything is technology. That's the reason I'm saying right now it's a global village. It's a globe. When I talk of a village, it is a village. So yeah, you need to open yourself up, need to learn these languages because people tell you that when you speak someone's language, it's easier to make relationship, it's easier to have this bond, it's easier to to break down the differences. You're, you're coming from different races, you're coming from different cultures, yes, but when you're able to speak one language, it's easier to communicate, it's easier to understand each other, it's easier to introduce each other to different perspectives. And yes, also you need to understand that as much as we come from different cultures and as much as we learn from different languages, you also need to accept the differences. You need also to accept each other's culture. We agree to disagree and be respectful because the way I was brought up with my culture is not the same way you were brought up in with your culture. So we need to learn to accept that. And I love the way she does it. I love the way she, when you look at her TikTok channel, the way she shows the world, the two worlds to people, to her audience, and you come to appreciate and you're like, okay, so I know about Nigeria, I know about Korea, and this is how people interact and you like it, you love it. So, thanks to her, yeah, I, I've been following her. I remember when she started, right now she has over 100,000 followers and uh, the likes, they're like over millions over there. So, she does so many things just to highlight uh, the, the cultures. And people love it. And people give her comments and, and they appreciate it. But I remember when she started, I was, some people were really, really laughing at her, by the way. Because she had, when, I, when I started following her, she had like... Um, Thousand, a couple of thousand followers. She hadn't reached like to 20, 50,000 at that time. And people are laughing. But right now she's so fluent. When she speaks, you think you're speaking to a, to a Korean. If you don't, if you don't see it, you just hear the voice. You think she's, she's Korean because she's so fluent. And even when you see the way she does her content and, they, and she interacts with the fellow Koreans because they're just doing audio. And even their Korean they say, are you sure you're Nigerian? Because the way you're speaking is so fluently. I mean, you're better. You're, you're speaking better. The, into, the accent is more fluent. Why? How? Because she's practiced, because she loved the language. So what I'm trying to say is let's learn these new languages. It's, it will help you. It will open a new world for you. It will literally bring this multicultural in you and you come to, to learn, love new things about the world. So don't stay close-minded. This world doesn't need close-minded people right now. It needs people to interact because... Let's call a spin or a big spoon. Right now, we are living in a multicultural global village. Mm -hmm. Global village. So that's where we are. And, and the only way to move forward is for you to accept that we are a global village and we need to learn to accept our differences, our, to accept our different cultures and live in harmony together. Because together we stand, united we stand together, the more forcefully we move forward. Okay, so don't laugh at other people who are trying to learn new languages. In fact, those who are learning new languages are better off. Believe you me, because they are literally opening their world to new things, new new people, new 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 way of interacting with other people, and they are literally enjoying themselves. If you look at the way people interact, until I was, I was like, okay, I need to, even me, I need to start learning because it's it's a different perspective. All right. All right, guys, I'd love to hear from you guys. Subscribe to my channel, okay? I want to hear from you. Drop, drop, drop comments. What do you think? <laughs> is it okay to learn foreign languages? What is your, uh, um, what is, what exactly you want to tell me? Me, I'm talking what I, I want to say. So what is your view? I'd love to hear from you. Drop, drop, drop comments. Okay. And yes, I do love K-drama. I love K-drama. I just discovered the other day. My sister loved it before, but I used to be like, ah, I'm not into that. But one day I just decided, you know what, well, let me sit down and just watch one key drama. And, uh, and, and then from there I was, I was hooked. Uh, they call it Squid Game. Mm, Squid Game. Mm, Squid Game. I remember when I started watching Squid Game, I was like, huh, okay, okay, okay. Before I knew it, I had finished the whole season of Squid Game. So, yeah. I love watching K-drama. Anyway, drop your comments. I'd love to hear from you guys.